Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about three very popular MAC fragrances and I'm very excited to do this because I have been wanting to try these for such a long time. Many of them were very hyped up and very raved about by a lot of people and I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised by most of them so I'm very excited to talk to you about them. And if you haven't already subscribed I would love if you would consider heading on down hitting the subscribe button and becoming part of our little perfume community. And without further ado let's jump right in. So let's start off with MAC Turquatic. This is probably one of the most popular and well-known MAC fragrances. So MAC Turquatic is, as the name would suggest, a very aquatic, fresh, uplifting, refreshing, sort of a watery note kind of a scent. When I first spray this, it really reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. That was the very first place that my mind went. However, if you watch my channel, you know that I can't actually wear Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I find it to be a little bit too sharp and it gives me a little bit of a headache, unfortunately. So this one is not quite as sharp as Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. The first opening has a little bit of that vibe. It's a very fresh, clean, citrusy kind of a vibe, but that sharp citrusy note dies down fairly quickly. And then what you get is just a very clean, sort of an aquatic, subtly floral fragrance with a little bit of a woody undertone to it. And what I really get from this is just a very fresh, clean, soft citrus scent. It's very refreshing. It definitely reminds me of the ocean. Everything about this bottle reminds me of the ocean. It makes me feel like I'm in the Caribbean, which I really like. I do have to be honest, citrus fragrances are not my favorite uh, fragrance family. So I don't have a lot of citrus fragrances. Probably the closest I get to a citrus is like Chanel Chanso Fraiche, um, which I really love, but even that one has a little bit more going on. It's not just a straight up citrus. This one is also quite pleasant though. I can see why people like this one so much. So I've had it on my arm for about an hour and a half. It is becoming quite soft. It doesn't have great, great um, longevity or projection. It's not terrible. I think I've certainly smelt worse in terms of projection. Um, but currently what it smells like is just a very subtle, soft, kind of an aquatic, slightly floral scent. And it's just very fresh and very clean. That's probably the best way I can describe it. Yeah, this smells pretty much exactly how I thought it was gonna smell. So if you've never smelled this and you look up the notes, you're gonna have a pretty good idea what it's gonna smell like. It's it's a very simple fragrance, very easy to understand. I think it's pretty likable. I think if you like citrus smells, um, you would really like this. However, if you're looking for something with really, really good longevity and projection, I would check out Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue because I think that one definitely is better in the performance category than this one. But yeah, I know a lot of people who have this on like their top perfumes for life and I can definitely see where that comes from. So yeah, I'll just give you another little quick close up here. I do really like the bottle. The bottle makes me feel like I'm going on vacation. It reminds me of the ocean. And yeah, so it's just, it's just a very pleasant aquatic citrusy scent, but not too sharp and not too in your face. I don't know if I'll keep this one forever just because like I say, citrus fragrances and aquatic fragrances are my least favorite. Um, but that being said, this might be really, really great for an easy grab and go in the summertime. So next let's talk about Creme de Nude. So this one has gotten so many good reviews. I've seen a few different people talking about this one. I believe I saw Gabriella Francesca talking about this one. Um, and this fragrance smells pretty much exactly like the bottle looks. If you look at the notes, this is a very caramelly, kind of a powdery, vanillic scent. This also has a subtle, subtle hint of a white floral in the opening. So there is a very subtle, like sweet, white floral in the opening and essentially this is just a very warm cozy somewhat powdery vanilla caramel scent it is kind of along the same lines as Prada Candy, and it's also kind of along the same lines as um, Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, Fresh Cream Warm Suede. If you've ever smelt the suede fragrance, the warm suede fragrance from Philosophy, it'll give you a very good idea what this smells like. Very, very similar. I have to say I do like this better than the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, and I do like this better than Prada Candy. There's something about this that makes it a little bit different. It's very sexy, it's very sensual, it's very feminine. It's not huge in terms of projection. Um, it sits probably within an arm's length away. I don't think this is gonna fill a room. And actually, what this reminds me of a little bit is Zerjoff Grand Ballo, which if you guys watch my channel, you know that I recently decluttered Grand Ballo because I just didn't love it. And Grand Ballo was kind of similar to this, except Grand Ballo was heavier on the white floral. This is a little bit less white floral and a little bit more powdery caramel vanilla. Um, 
picture Prada candy and then add in a little bit of a suede note that's kind of what this smells like so this has like a little bit of that makeup vibe a little bit of that makeup powder and it's very intoxicating it's very sexy I think this is great for like date nights cozying up on the couch Netflix and chill I really really like this one yeah so that is MAC creme de nude I really like this currently in my collection I don't really have a lot that's along this line because I no longer have Prada candy um, and my fresh cream warm cashmere from philosophy had such poor performance that I haven't really been wearing it This has much better performance than the philosophy fragrance. So Really happy with this one I don't know why it took me so long to get it And I also think it's a pretty safe blind buy if you like caramel vanilla powdery scents now Let's talk about Mac velvet Teddy. This is another very very highly talked about perfume in the fragrance community this one, a lot of people compare to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini, but they say that this one is a more feminine, sweeter version of Tobacco Vini. And I would have to agree. The Tom Ford Tobacco Vini is a little bit more nighttime. It's a little bit more unisex. It's much heavier. And I think it probably has better performance. It's been a while since I've smelt it, but I do think it probably would have better performance. So this essentially, you guys, is a very sweet, honey, tobacco flower, and tonka bean fragrance. This is just a delicious, sweet, boozy, tonka bean tobacco scent. This actually reminds me a lot more of Zara Warm Rich Addictive or Rich Warm Addictive, except Rich Warm Addictive didn't have this heavy dose of tonka bean where this one does. The other difference between Rich Warm Addictive and this one is that Rich Warm Addictive was an eau de toilette and I didn't find that it had great lasting power. That one for me really didn't last very long and it felt a little bit watered down. This one definitely has better performance. This one I can smell filling my room right now. I have one spray on my arm and I can smell it wafting around me. And out of these three fragrances that I have currently on my body, this is the one that is projecting the furthest. So this is really intoxicating. It's really sweet. It's, I don't want to say it's smoky. It doesn't give me like smoky evening vibes. Like there's people around smoking cigars or anything like that. It's just a really sexy sweet feminine tobacco so if you're looking for something with tobacco but you don't want something too masculine i would definitely suggest checking this out um, the honey comes through quite strong in here which i was a little bit nervous about because i don't love honey in my fragrances they have to be done in the right way um, but this is just a really nicely balanced sweet honey cozy tonka bean smell so yeah i really like this one this one i would definitely wear for like a night out i would wear it to the same place i would wear something like jazz club more of like a cozy evening but also i think you could just wear this for like every day in the winter if you really wanted to this would be a great cold weather scent or a great evening scent and yeah out of these three i would say that the velvet teddy definitely has the greatest performance so those are the three MAC fragrances. Out of the three, my favorite, I think my favorite is the Velvet Teddy, um, but it's very closely followed by the Creme de Nude. And like I say, I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping the Turquatic. I'm gonna keep this though until summertime because I don't think it's fair of me to really um, judge it prematurely because it's winter, so doesn't make sense. I think this would also be a great gym scent or like just a great fresh everyday scent out of the shower or something like that. And I think overall, all three of them are very good. And I'm very happy that these three worked out for me because if you saw my last haul, it was a complete disaster. 80% <laughs> of the perfumes from my last haul were a complete blind buy disaster. So yeah, very happy with these ones. Highly recommend them. Don't know why it took me so long to get them. Um, the shipping was quite a while though because of the time of year and COVID and stuff like that. But overall, I'm quite happy with them. So yeah, very, very pleasantly surprised with these, free, with these three fragrances. And I'd love to know your thoughts on them down below. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions about these perfumes, please feel free to leave them down below. I would also like to know your thoughts if you have any of these. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of little tidbits of my life that I don't usually share here on YouTube, including outfits of the day, scents of the day, and other things. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.